Now, Sean. Yes. <laughs> we basically discussed how you have a fun show. We do. How do you how do you delineate fun fact serious focused? <clears throat> You know, the thing is, is we, we do have a fun show and I think that that's really important. I think that's why we've gained some uh, notoriety and some popularities because people do like to have fun. At the same time, we do take what we do very seriously. Uh, we take guns and gear and just the things that, that, that we work with very seriously. And while we are fun and while I don't take as much training as John does, you know, I'm probably between 150, 200 hours a year. I am an instructor. I take tons and tons of medical training. Uh, and you know, it's, it's, it's really super important to me. So while we do crack jokes, we, we really do take all of this very, very seriously. We take our rights, we take the second amendment, we take medical training, we take firearms training very, very seriously. And I think if you ask anyone who listens to our show, you know, uh, they'll, they'll say the same thing. Obviously we're clowns at the same time. That's just the way that, you know, that's, that's just kind of who, the, the group that we brought together and that's kind of what we do. Uh, at the same time, uh, you know, we are out there advocating every single day and whether it's just talking to listeners on Facebook or, or Instagram or anything else, um, I take that seriously. Now, I don't really abide by stupidity because uh, I just, I can't do it. It's, uh, I'm not built to do it, but so I do challenge people and, uh, you know, you know, much like he was just saying, uh, I challenge because I want people to learn and, and if they have no, no ability to learn or no desire to learn, then obviously I just troll the shit out of them. <laughs> because again i mean it, life's just too short to put up with stupidity I and mean, we've seen so much lately and uh, i don't know if you're gonna ask for specific examples of social media stupidity but uh, i can provide a couple that just recently happened within the last couple of days oh i i i have no doubt i i suspect everyone oh, please on do. this panel please do absolutely <laughs> yes yeah i mean it's it's just an ongoing thing like social media for people who don't know for for those of us in the in the media industry uh, especially firearms media is just a ridiculous thing. It's something that happens and it's, it's almost a full-time job. Um, I feel so inundated by social media kind of like all the time. Uh, I do it when I'm at stoplights. I do it for a couple hours before I go to bed. I do it, you know, probably 50 times during the day. It's just, it, it is, it's a full-time job running social media accounts for any kind of media company. Yeah, but do you do it while you're driving 90 miles an hour down the highway? That's the key, dude. Obviously, I'm a baller. So the answer is yes. Nice, nice. <laughs> I mean, just kidding. There's law enforcement on the show. That's right. <laughs> I, I kind of have a question, if if you don't mind. Um, just just related to that, uh, when trolling the shit out of people or whatever, if they can't be um, can't be reached, have you? What What are your thoughts on the the people lurking and like reading that interaction? Do you think that? by doing that you're losing people that you wouldn't have lost otherwise perhaps do you, think it, do you think it matters i don't know i i think there's so many things that we can and can't control in the universe and i think that whether it matters or not might be one of those things sure it matters everyone who reads your words on social media i think it matters and i think it makes an impact whether they're like oh that guy's a dick or well that guy's smart or oh that was funny or or just anything else but at the end of the day, and, and the bottom line is, is I would say our Facebook page is probably 70% listeners and 30% people who just randomly saw we like shooting and like the page. Uh, the 70% that are listeners, I think they, they get it. And I don't really have any trouble with them. It's usually that 30% of just people who saw we like shooting and said, well, I like to shoot and, and liked our page. Uh, but at the same time, you know, there's, there, there are people that are unreachable. There's people that just want to spout rhetoric and, 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 do that all day every day and like you said those learned answers that people have like uh just you know finger off the trigger that you know the second someone sees someone's finger on, on the trigger that's just the end of the day for them and uh yeah i think it matters yeah i think it's important but at the end of the day we can only control so much so yeah i definitely troll some people sometimes yeah that probably turns some other people off but these are probably not people that are in our demographic in our demographic personally um your show my show totally probably have a lot of crossover however we do probably have different demographics as well i, well, I think I, a lot of that has to do with uh yeah your your demographic and also the ultimate mission because for me personally i try my absolute hardest not to troll and to explain and then try to take that high road so everyone else can see hey this guy's an asshole he doesn't know what he's talking about <laughs> but well, you know, I, well, I was gonna say 
I mean, I troll the shit out of people. It's just most of the time they don't notice I'm doing it. So. <laughs> right. Well, like I said, 70, 30, 70 listeners, 70% listeners, 30% uh, just other people. Um, and I'd say that our comments are kind of the same. Uh, when we have really, really super popular posts, there's 30% of the people that are just spouting their propaganda that they want to push on everyone else. And then I, I literally don't engage those people at all. However, if someone says something ridiculous or points out something that, that I just think is utterly ridiculous or someone has actually a good point, I always interact. Um, that's, that's really important to me. If someone takes the time to comment on one of our posts, I think it's really important that they get a response as long as it's a thoughtful comment. I don't care if I agree with it. I don't care if I don't agree with it, but I feel like they deserve a response if they put some time and effort and energy into making that comment. The 30% of people who are just stupid and spouting idiocy, I, I don't really care about. It's the other ones that I really care about. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've found I've been posting a bit with uh, Firearms Policy Coalition, and when they post something that I, that I appreciate, it gets reposted on my page. And then you get the people that, their immediate response is shall not be infringed. Right. How does this help the conversation? Let's, let's ha actually have a discussion here and just spouting out random comments. It's not helping anyone. Yeah. But, yeah. That's, that's a 30% that I ignore right there. I'm just like, this guy doesn't want to have a conversation. He wants, just wants to, you know, he wants to use this platform for whatever propaganda or rhetoric that, he, that he's got in mind. And I, I, who cares? Like, go ahead. I don't delete stuff. And I rarely, rarely ban people. But uh, I ban the shit out of people. Oh man! I instead, if I get to the point where I want, I just troll them because that then they just get so mad and it's like the best day of my life. Am I missing something, or were you going to bring up some examples like recently, dude? Because I'm really anxious for those. Uh, it's it's up to uh, Mr. Primary and Secondary there. Whenever he's yeah, ready, yeah, I've got him. Throw it out. Uh, okay, so I, I think you all saw the wheelchair thing. Uh, the wheelchair on the range. Uh, most people have seen that. It's a, it's a situation that, uh, look, I don't care about the 180. I don't, I, I've done tons of training where we do bounding exercises and things like that. I've shot with people downrange. I've been downrange when, when other people were shooting. I don't care about that. In this specific instance, I think that the wheelchair was out of control and I think that the whole situation was handled really poorly by the range instructors. Uh, that's just my opinion. Like I, I I haven't, you know, I, I never served in the military. I am an instructor. I, I try to do things that I think are right and things that I think are safe. And I take a ton of training from different instructors so that I can learn the right things. My opinion was that that was an uncontrolled situation and it was dangerous. Not because people were downrange, just because of every other aspect of it. So I took a ton of flack on social media from people in the industry and people that are my friends and, you know, acquaintances and things like that. And I, I don't really care. I said, you know, it's cool if we don't agree. I'm fine with that. It, do it doesn't matter. Then I know that uh, another gun media guy put out a video uh, talking about the four rules of gun safety. And I, I mean, I don't know if we want to say names, but obviously that was uh, the VSO gun channel. Good guy. I consider him a friend. We always go to the same events and we talk. He disagrees with me on this subject and that's fine. But he made a video where he was down range of someone shooting and while he talked about the four rules of gun safety and how none of them were broken. The problem is, is that that, just doesn't matter like what he was doing i have no problem with that i don't care if he wants to do that that's totally fine at the end of the day that doesn't actually address any of the issues that i that i really had with the wheelchair video and uh it just blew up on social media i took a ton of flack over it and i just don't care i i don't think the situation was safe and that, at the end of the day that's fine but you know when people come out and they don't really address the concerns it just makes a a, a big huge stupid thing well let, let me ask you this dude uh just out of curiosity who who controverted what you were saying? Because I listened to what you were saying and I totally agreed. It was a completely unsafe situation, not an unsafe act. Right. The situation itself was unsafe. Um, you know, you'd look at the, the guy in the wheelchair. Hell, it looked like he was going to fall over. And where was that muzzle going to go? And where was this tree? All that in the eye and get into yeah. that shit. But you know what I'm saying? I can't imagine for the life of me that any sane person and even – in you know, barring your, your buddy from VSO, I got it. How could somebody not agree with what you were saying? I'm, I'm confused there. I'm, oh, we do. Like what kind of comments were you getting? Oh, we, we got tons of that were, there were pussies and, uh, that, you know, we don't train for real life. And I'm like, but I actually do train for real life. I don't give a shit about the 180. I, I, I run a hot, hot range, a 360 range. I don't give a shit about any of that. 
the specific example is that the wheelchair was out of control and that's just plain and simple and there's nothing more to it in my opinion like i'll listen to what everyone else has to say but at the end of the day they're not going to convince me differently because that's what i believe after watching the video um and i just think when when we come out on social media and attack other people in the industry that's totally fine however at least address their concerns and don't just make it into some you know again propaganda at the end of the day well and that brings up an, an important point matt i don't want to segue because it's your show but there's this thing called groupthink. you know one trusted individual makes a comment that says contrary to what in this case sean was saying and then another person sees that trusted individual making that comment says yeah what he says and then you get the whole, you know, wave of people who now are becoming idiots because they've group thought the way this one individual who was contrary to Sean's point, which was a very good point. It was just an unsafe act. It wasn't an, or an unsafe situation, not an unsafe act. That's one of the problems with social media that just goes unaddressed completely, which is one of the main reasons I've kind of limited myself to forums is because – I see the group think thing happening and it's like, man, uh, that's enough. I can't take that shit. You know, it goes back to the, what, what, uh, you know, what Sean and Jay, John were talking about early on about there's, there's this position that somebody thinks that what they're saying is the right thing and it's definitive. It's not open to uh, scrutiny. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a really good way to put it. You bring up forums and that's uh you know that's kind of how i got started learning how to shoot was going to different forums and following different things like that the problem is facebook isn't a forum it's every motherfucker with a keyboard has a facebook so he can stalk that hot chick down the corner and you know what he sees that thread prop up he's like you know what i'm gonna add my own two cents to this sure i'm a fucking moron but i'm gonna go ahead and cast into this and sort of help out this problem and once I've done so, everyone else will look at me and go, oh, you smart man, you've come here to help us, allow us to carry you out on top of a fucking chair and hail you as our god king emperor. The problem is, it's everybody. And when we were on forums and we were talking about this stuff, they knew because they had to sign on, they had to become a forum member, and they had that post count next to them where it said, I've posted three times, I'm probably a fucking idiot. Don't fucking pay any attention to me. I remember being on Light Fighter for four years with zero posts. I still have my fucking account there. I never posted anything. Unfortunately, Facebook doesn't promote that sort of tribal hierarchy. It promotes Accountability. This, we're all together. It's kumbaya. We're all going to join hands and sing and smoke reefer, and it's going to be great. But the reality is any fucker has an opinion on here. And that's not always going to be great for when we have to talk about something serious. Yeah. And I will say that like, as far as forums go and things like that, like I've always used my last name as my forum account name because I always wanted to stand beside whatever I said. I didn't want to just spew stuff into the night and not stand behind anything. If, if I ever post in a forum or any other kind of social media whatsoever, it will have my name attached to it. If I'm on Reddit, it's my last name. Plain and simple, I stand behind everything I say, whether it's in person or online. Jack, it's interesting what you said about uh, accountability with people's posts, because that happens to be one of the biggest complaints people have about primary and secondary, because we hold people accountable. And if you just post crap, we ask, well, why do you say that? Why are you saying this? Or we just say you're wrong in their band. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the problem is they don't realize they're in a different part of the internet. Yep. They're still on Facebook. They're still the guy who played high school football and scored four touchdowns in one game. He's still a fucking hero in another part of Facebook. He doesn't realize he's left his whole new world. He's into a different place now. Amen. <laughs>